students so here in lines and angles of class 9 in exercise 4.3 the 11th question is from the figure find x and y okay so here this is the figure given so arrow marks show that these two are parallel let us mark this as a b c d okay so from triangle a b d you take this triangle here it is given as 90 degrees so what you can write 52 Plus ninety plus this is three y plus five. Three y plus five is equal to one eighty degrees because we know some of the angles in a triangle is one eighty degrees. Fifty two. This is ninety. Three y plus five is one eighty. So fifty two. This is ninety five plus fifty two. Ninety five plus fifty two is how much? This is seven. This is one forty seven. So three y plus one forty seven is equal to one eighty degrees. So from this you can write. 3y is equal to 180 minus 147. So 180 minus 147, how much? 147. So 10 minus 7 is 3. 7 minus 4 is 3. So 3y is equal to we got 33. So from this y is equal to 33 by 3. So 3 ones are 3 eleven ones. So I got y value as 11. Okay. Now next you have to find out the value of x. Now here AB is parallel to CD. I have AB is parallel to CD, and also if I take this as transversal, that is AC is transversal. AC is transversal. So what you will get? Like this. This is AB, CD. This is the transversal, which is present like this. Now clearly, this is x degrees, and This one, this entire angle, this is sixty-five plus fifty-two. Okay, so this angle x is e angle x plus sixty-five plus fifty-two is equal to one eighty degrees because the sum of interior angles on one side of the transversal is one eighty degrees. So what you can write angle x plus sixty-five plus fifty-two is equal to one eighty degrees. That is when you have two lines like this. This is the transversal. The interior angles formed sum is one eighty degrees. We are doing x. This is x degrees. X plus the interior angle sum is because this is the transversal. The entire thing we have to do sixty five plus fifty two is one eighty. So x plus how much is sixty five plus fifty two? Sixty five fifty two. We get it as seven eleven one seventeen. One seventeen is equal to one eighty degrees. So from this you can write x is equal to 180 minus 117. So x is equal to 180 minus 117 is how much? 117. 10 minus 7 is 3. 7 minus 1 is 6. 63 degrees. So we got x as 63 degrees and y as 11. So in this way we have to do the problems.